Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell Inspiron 5515, and what I'll be doing is upgrading the M.2 SSD drive to the one terabyte. All right, so here's my new one terabyte M.2 SSD, and I'll be upgrading and remove the original uh, hard drive here. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is to go ahead and remove the back cover. To do that, you need to have a Phillips screwdriver and let's get started. So let's go ahead and remove some of the screws here. Just letting you know the screws on the uh, top left and top right corner, which is here, the top left, they do not come off. So just leave it as this, you just have to unscrew it. And when you feel like it is enough of unscrewing, like it doesn't come off, you just leave it as this, okay? Remove the rest of other screws. Okay, once you have done removing all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover. Uh, what you wanna do is since that there's a little gap here on the top right corner, you just want to work your way around it and pop the back cover right off. At this point, you can see that the entire computer, uh, the internal part of it, and if you feel like the fan is dusty or really cluttered with dust, uh, this is the best time for you to use an Aiken duster and just dust it off, clean off your computer so that you have a better ventilation, circulating of exhausting the hot air away from the computer. Just try to maintain a computer if since you already take it apart all right so in this computer i like to walk you through there are two things you can do um, in my opinion well in my situation what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to replace the m.2 to a larger one so this is what i'm be doing but for you if you want to increase additional storage capacity you can actually use it on the secondary m.2 here is the secondary slot. Remove that one screw. Slide the cover up. And you can see that there's additional slot here for the M.2 storage. However, you're not allowed to have the full size M.2 installed here because there will have not enough room. So you can actually buy the smaller ones, the mini M, um, M.2 and slot it in. So what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. You can find them from either Amazon or eBay. Uh, they will direct you to that place to get the replacement. All right, so for my case, what I'll be doing is I'm changing out the M.2 here. This is the original M.2 and I'll be removing that and replacing with the new one. You just have to slide it in at 45 degree angle, holding it down, get that one screw, screw back into the hard drive. What have I done? Okay, let me put this one back in. We are not trying to upgrade. We are trying to change out the hard drive. Okay. All right. Now, you have changed the new m.2 here you have installed it now what would happen next i'm not able to show you in this video but i can explain to you what would happen next okay so assuming that you have everything installed correctly and you put the back plate back in and all the screws going all back here now you're going to turn on the computer right so you're going to turn it around 
and turn on the computer what would happen next is that the computer would say hey there's no windows I can't boot to the windows what should I do well this is the time where you need to purchase this USB Windows installer okay uh, if you're not sure where to buy them what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below again you can get it from Amazon um, you can buy it directly from them and start installing a fresh Windows in it now if you do not want to purchase what you can do you can actually um, go to Microsoft website get yourself a USB an empty USB and make a bootable disk all right you are allowed to do that um, you can download and you know do your own research and make a bootable USB Windows installer and I'll link them in the description below for you just in case you're not sure what to do um, I'll make a separate video for that go check it out um, also for those of you who wants to clone the original drive to the new drive I'll make that separate video as well cloning means that you can clone everything identical meaning that you can actually clone from your original source to a replacement drive when you do the cloning meaning that everything move over so that all your information all your data all your settings would be in a new drive and you slide it in you install it in the computer you have everything as how it was before all right so um I hope this video is helpful if you find the video helpful please smash the like button for me um, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe i really appreciate you for subscribing that really helps me keep me motivated to make more of this stuff video for you thanks for watching i wish you all the best in your repair and bye now